Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. Today, we're gonna be harvesting some wheat and barley. The wheat is mostly ready. I still got some like this that are green still. There's a couple green. But then these, you can tell that they're ready, at least I can, by these things sticking out. I don't know what they're called, sorry. I'm no professional when it comes to this. This is the first year I've grown wheat, but uh, I gave it a try and, you know, wasn't without its difficulty, but overall, I mean, it wasn't hard either. Let's see how big of a harvest we get off of what is ready. So I'm just gonna use some scissors and cut the top off and we will break this up. I can get some of the wheat berries, there we go. So what I'm checking for is the hardness of the kernel and I'm trying to dent it with my fingernail and I can't, so these are ready. So the kids are out here, Eli and Abby are gonna help and we are going to harvest some wheat. And I'm just gonna cut off the ones that I think are ready, throw it in, and this is a kind of long process. Uh, unfortunately, there's easier ways. All right, guys, so we've got a pretty good harvest here. Um, I mean, I don't know how much seeds this is gonna be, but I think we're already- Probably 500. We're probably already got more seeds than when, you know, what we had originally started with, what we planted. Yeah. And then we'll let all these go for another couple weeks until they all dry and get ready. Of course, this isn't gonna be enough to make like a loaf of bread or anything right here. Um, it's just not. Um, maybe all that might be one loaf of bread. Um, and that would be it. But what I'm doing is I'm not, I'm not really harvesting to use. I'm gonna take this and then I'm gonna um, reseed next year. So that's really what I'm doing. I'm just trying to build up my, my seed bank with this, so. All right, everyone, so I have this bag. It's pretty heavy duty, um, had rice in it. We kept it and we thought we could use this someday and sure enough. So I'm just gonna put all these in, in the bag. Hit it hard, Abby. Not, not with the pointed end, just flat, okay? Cause you're gonna poke the bag. Turn it like this and hit it this way. Mm. Go ahead and touch it. Yeah. Oh, that's kicking it. <laughs> it didn't really work. <laughs> and they're still. So no amount of beating is gonna get all these. I mean, we did loosen quite a few, but I pulled out all the pods that weren't, you know, broken apart. And this is what I have left. It's pretty windy right now, so you can see the chaff is coming off when I drop it. So if I just keep doing this, all the seeds are gonna drop, they're heavier, and the chaff blows off. All right, so most people, if they've got a big plot and everything kinda is ready at the same time, you just kinda, you cut everything at the base, and then you bundle them together, and you stick them in a bag, and then you beat the bag. You know, I'm noticing these are so dry, I can just grab and pull. I don't even need the scissors. That takes too much time. This will be a lot quicker. So this is what I did with the wheat. I think we got more barley than we did wheat. Good job, bud. Yeah, that broke apart pretty well. Let's do a couple more. Okay. Let's get it really broken up, but I think, I think we're close. That was a lot easier, huh? Not hard. I did not shake it all. I know. One more hard one and I'm done with your Wait, wait, hold on, Abby. <laughs> one more. All right, good. Let's Here. let Abby, do you want to hit it against the tree or hit it? Careful, don't hit me, please. <laughs> good job. It's like a pinata. Yeah. So there's a couple of these didn't fully break apart. That's okay. We got our hands. And do the but best we that we can. Good. Yeah, so this broke apart much easier than the wheat, huh? You're blocking the wind. So stand at this direction. Good. And I'm noticing that all the chaff isn't coming off, like the this casing, it just doesn't, um, it's different. It's not coming off of it, so. I, uh, maybe it's not like wheat where you get the full, just the berry. It might come with the 
casing, I think so. I think you gotta almost like grind it. So now that we did the harvest, uh, we actually had a few heads left and they were kind of green. So I went through, you can see some of these are green, some are brown. Some of these are viable, some aren't. But I popped all the heads off so that way I don't have any seeds because we are gonna harvest this for straw. So I wanna make sure all those heads are off because I do not want my straw that I'm gonna use in the garden to be sprouting a lot. This will just, I'm gonna let dry for a couple weeks and then I can, you know, see if I can break it up. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and pull these up because they come up pretty easily. And I'm pulling up a little dirt with it. That's okay. And then we'll be bunching these. So I've got this jute fiber and I will wrap around, put this on the ground. Bundle that together. There we go. And now that's together. Maybe not as tight as I wanted. Probably could have tightened that a little bit, but there we go. There that's together. All right, and we'll let this dry. That's all of it. That's the wheat and the barley. You can tell which is the barley. It's all crispy versus we got some green in with the wheat. So the wheat, all this will sit for a couple weeks probably and dry out. If I get some rains, I'll put some tarp over it. Uh, but once this all dries out, I'll be able to cut those bottoms off, chop this up. It'll be a really good mulch for most of the garden. I really like wheat as mulch. It's just uh, too much of a chance to get that herbicide in there. But now I've got the herbicide uh, free wheat uh, guaranteed for you know, herbicide free. So, cause I grew it. I know I didn't put any on there. All right, so after trying multiple different ways to be able to get the chaff out, I have settled on using a weed eater in a bucket. I think that's gonna be the best bet. I tried banging it with the bag. That didn't work. Nothing really came out. Excuse my neighbor, they're mowing right now. There we go, we're gonna dump all this in. So I watched a few videos on how to do this and it just does seem like this is gonna be the best bet on how to separate the chaff from the wheat. And I think I messed up by pulling the heads off and leaving the stalks. I really should have just cut the stalks off at the bottom and then you can kind of beat those stalks with the heads on. Uh, that seems like the best bet. So let's go ahead and start this weed eater. Now I removed the, as you can see, it's just the head. I removed the guard on there because it won't fit in. All right. Get it up higher. definitely increased our seed hopefully it's all viable and next year this is winter wheat so this fall I'll plant more so let's go ahead and bring that inside all right let's do the same thing with the barley wind kind of died halfway through that. So this is what I got. Um, this is the barley and I couldn't get the chaff off but that's okay. I'm just using this as a cover crop and same thing with the wheat. Um, couldn't really get all the chaff out but did pretty good and I'm just going to spread this next year as a cover crop. So we're actually at the end of this year so it's a uh, towards the fall. This is about four to five times what I started with. I had a little baggie, maybe about this much of the wheat and same, and the barley got even more. So I had like this much of the barley 
and look at how full that is so did pretty good so this next year i'll be able to seed a pretty large area maybe a 20 by 20 section so there we go free seed for cover crops and then next year I'll, I'll do this right and i'll cut it off at the base and dry the stalks that way and then i can just kind of beat the chaff out well thanks for watching everyone if you guys like this kind of content please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates also if you could hit the like button it would really help me and the channel out i will see you on the next video now you guys try to escape the daily grind